Hey YouTube, it's Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. I got a... I haven't been doing a lot of stuff. I got a cold this week, but uh... Oh jeez. Had a customer who wanted a... The wide body version of my Americanus Bowie. Wide blade version. It's got a little more belly to it. And then I have a grind line here. Um... You can kind of see straight and then false edge and then 40 degree bevel just zero ground tip so you have full full thickness of your quarter inch uh, blade all the way up to here where my thumbnail is the sheath for this I already showed you a little bit of I think um, I have the micarta 3 8 inch spacer in the back drilled for some magnets and then I bedded some, uh, I, well, I modified the tang, I mean the spine right here, so that I could have a purchase for the some epoxy bedding to go into in the, on the spacer. So now it just sort of clicks right in, and the magnets keep it stay put, and you can't pull it out. You can only pull it forward. Anyway. When it's in there, right, it's it's nice and secure. I'm also going to put a thumb strap across from this uh, screw hole around the uh, guard. The Jackal Camp Hatchet, I've got several of these. I've got three, three of them that are um, nickel plated with tan grips. And they're going to have these sheaths coming for them. But the first variation I have is just simple... Um, uses the same molly panel as the full size tomahawk, same beard spacer, and then I make a I got these standoff features so you can if you can order it left or right handed, I just make the parts um, ambidextrous for so I can just all I have to do is just mount the uh, left or right handed molly panel. So you've got a, a locking uh, spacer here in the back underneath and this one's got a little bit of play but you unlock it and then you can pull the spacer out and then you've got it unlocked. And then you just clip it back onto the beard spacer and then you lock it again. Um, you could, you can leave it unlocked without the pin if you want to, but um, that one comes out and then you can lock it back again. Solid. Very, very solid locking mechanism. Then you got another one where I added a little grommet here in the micarta, added a little bungee cord so that way, and it's got a slightly, um, well, it's about the same geometry actually on the spacer itself, but I use a different, um, a different, um, pivot pin, and it doesn't have as much tension on that part so it can more freely move. So this one I can just it self lock itself, um, and then it can come back out again. Um, and then you still would want to put a lock pin in there if you were to go anywhere with it. Um, you got to get the the beard right in the correct spot. There it goes. So that I'd also have a quarter inch diameter. Um, lock pin just go into place and then it's just solid not going anywhere so this one's going off to a sample to so one customer who's waiting for something I can't get done yet and then the green ones are off to another customer so three more you can see maybe there they are I got three of those and I got the camp axe. One camp axe I think is already spoken for. So I don't have any of those available. No 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 full size camp axe is available, except maybe one that hasn't been coated yet, and then the three camp hatchets. Um Yeah, so working on other things too. Um Kodiak swords are imminently ready. And I got tomahawks imminently ready too. I just need to make more handles and finish up sheaths. Also, 
Another project I did on the side, which is a little daring, is to take a... I did this one a long time ago. This is my Glock 17, which I cut the frame off so it would fit baby Glock magazines. And then I finally did it with my full size Model 20. So, um, the, the whole point of this is so that you get a full power handgun, which is negligibly larger in terms of the slide that size compared to the or the frame size. It's, this is the this is the Model 29, and you can see you only got another inch of barrel, but that makes 100 feet per second if you're talking about hot 10 millimeter loads. Um, and so basically you get all the benefits of a compact carry model and all the benefits of the full size. And I actually have, like the, 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 the feeling of the handle of the compact more with my finger dangling off of it. And it's even better when you put a, a magazine in there because your pinky's diameter is much smaller than the Glock normally has. So anyway, that's a service I could offer if anybody is local and wants to have that done. And then I'll probably get into some stippling some other time too. It's a, a little bit scary when you first cut it with a bandsaw, but I made a jig, so it's pretty idiot proof. Or no, it's Jared proof. Alright, um, I should have another update before too long. I'll get over this cold and, and make some progress. See you next time.